Hello everyone, my name is Paul Hofer and I'm a product manager at UiPath. And what I'd like to demonstrate for you today is our Tableau Activity Pack, which we have just released. You can find out more about the Tableau Activity Pack on Marketplace just by searching for listings and you can download it from here. And I'll also show you how to download it from Studio as well. And we have all of our documentation here on docs.uipath.com slash activities docs Tableau about, or you can just search for Tableau. And we have information on everything that you can do with the activity pack. If you have not seen UiPath Studio, this is UiPath Studio. It's a design canvas where you can put together via drag and drop business processes. They can be sequences, they can be workflows. And in this case, you have a whole bunch of things you can do on the side. You have a lot of stuff that you get for free, such as if statements, um, checks, filtering. Uh, there's also computer vision, etc. In order to get the Tableau Activity Pack, you go to Manage Packages, type in Tableau, and look in the official feed. And you can see in this case, I've already installed um, 1.0.0 Preview, which is what is being released right now. And once you do that, it'll show up under this node here called Integrations. And you can see that I have Tableau there, and you can see the activities. Now, the activities, there's two types. One's called like a container type. It contains other activities. And the other is one that does work. So typically, when you want to query your data in Tableau, we need to know which server you're on and who you are, etc. So we have the concept of a scope activity. And these are three scope activities. And you can see in here, I've put in a bunch of other activities. We now have seven that you can do, or sorry, eight that you can do. Um, you can download the view uh, via crosstab into Excel. You can download the workbook, which will give you the actual workbook file or as a PDF or as a PowerPoint, or maybe even a revision. You can also query view data and you can either get that as the actual data itself and download that as a CSV or to manipulate it inside of a workflow, or you can download it as an image or a PDF. To set the login information on the scope, you just click on the configure button. We have two types of connection, a design connection and a robot connection. The robot connection is what actually runs when the robot is running, right? Um, and that is, as a robot runs, this is what it'll use. The design connection is because we have some helper dialogues to help you um, find things such as finding a view and so forth while you're building your workflow. And we need a connection information from that. We like to keep them separate. So as you can see, it has a username and a password. That's what Tableau supports. And then um, my content URL and, and my server URL. So if I just log in, it'll test the connection. And once I have that, I can now go in and set up my activities. So in this case, this is a quick demo of just the downloads. Um, you can see I'm putting in a site ID and a view ID. And then I'm also getting as a workbook um, or as a PowerPoint or a revision. And I can put in the revision number. And if I run this, it's going to use that information that I provided at login. And it's actually going to go and connect out to Tableau, to the Tableau environment that I specified. It'll log in using my credentials. And then it'll actually go in and pull that data down. And you can see as it's running, it has the files. So it's got the cross tab. It's got the PDF, uh, the TW. BX, etc. Now these are default names. You can actually go into these and specify a different name if you want to have something as my file or something else. But we put in those suffixes to make sure that they're each unique um, and they have the ID of the, um, of the particular view or workbook. I can do the same thing for view data. I can get the actual data out um, and, and I can download it or I can put it into a variable, and I'll talk about that more in a minute. I can also have an image come down, whether it's high resolution or not. And if I do a PDF, if I wanted a landscape or A4, or what other paper types that I want. And so if I run this, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to get that view data. And as you can see, it's pulled that information down. Now, why would I want to do these things? Uh, there's a lot of reasons why we may want to get data down from Tableau. So we may want to archive it. Maybe I have a weekly status report where each week I want to send it out or every day I need to do something with it. I may actually want to make decisions based off of it. So for instance, I can pull the data from, um, from a view and then with that data, I can filter it or look at it and just make some other type of a business decision. So let's assume that we have a case where um, we're doing just that. 
I have a bunch of things that I need to do with my data from Tableau. So one is I actually need to get the data itself. But the other thing is every time this robot runs, which could be daily or weekly, our system of record may be, for instance, box. And I actually want to put a copy of that view as a point in time to uh, my box directory. Or maybe I share it out with a partner outside my company. So maybe internally I'm using G Drive or I'm using OneDrive or something else like that. And I need to have it in a, a place that's uh, more neutral or maybe it's their box situation that I want to integrate with because maybe I have a partner, as I said, or um, you know outside counsel or anything else that I'm doing. And then I want to do some data onto it. So in this case, you can see I've also added the uh, box ServiceNow and Slack activity packs. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take that uh, PDF that I've downloaded. That's what I wanted it in as opposed to an image. And I'm going to save it to my box directory. So I have a box folder that I'm going to push it to. And then uh, some company use Teams or Slack. Not everyone does email anymore. In this case, I have an activity pack where I want to Slack a message to uh, a channel. And so I can pick out the channel I want to go to and I can include not only a uh, text, hey, here's my weekly report, but I can also take that same attachment, that same PDF, or in this case, maybe the actual CSV, whatever I want to do, and send it to the Slack channel. And in this case, how do I make that data actionable, right? In this case, this is static data, maybe a PDF, but I may need to make some decisions on it. Like maybe there's a threshold I'm looking for, or maybe I'm looking for irregularities, or as it goes through audit, I have some business rules that I want to audit that data on and look for trends. And so I can filter the data. This is just a little filter data table and I put some rules in here and it's gonna output me another data table. And I'm gonna say, hey, if I actually have anything, you know, let's say in my business process, we use JIRA or ServiceNow, I need to cut a ticket to the team to let them know that there's some kind of a, an actionable item. So I can then just put in a ServiceNow application scope I can insert a ServiceNow record. And I can go and I can create an incident and I can put in a description or anything else that I need to do. And then I can also add an attachment into the ticket so they see the same data, that filtered data um, that I wanted them to see. So there's a lot of powerful things you can do when you can get data from Tableau. I've walked through how to get workbooks. I've walked through how to get view data and then how to actually either do something with that file that you may need to do or take action on that data. Thank you very much. And please let us know if you have any questions.